everyone, and welcome back to my channel for my latest update. Today, we are going a little bit more in depth in our winter storm. Please make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss another report. Let's begin. We start by looking at the latest GFS model run. Watch as the storm moves across the United States. Like you just saw, we could see a pretty strong storm. The Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, and Northeast could see very strong wind, and snow. Accumulations could exceed 10 inches in a large area, mainly across the northern plains. The southern half of the storm could see heavy rain, and severe thunderstorms. The next few slides will show the snowfall accumulations, then, we will review the severe weather threat. Here are the snowfall accumulations for the northern plains and Great Lakes. A large swath of 10 plus inches are likely, with some isolated higher amounts especially across parts of Michigan. Here are the accumulations for the northeast. I think you should expect much less snow than the upper plains, with widespread light accumulations. This is because there is quite a bit of warm air ahead of the system. Here is the winter storm severity index for the next three days. We will already start seeing moderate winter weather related impacts starting by December 5th. Let's now start talking about why we are expecting some severe weather. The first contributor to some severe weather is where the moist warm gulf air meets the dry cold air. If these temperature extremes meet in the right way, we could certainly see some 60 mile per hour winds, and perhaps some hail. This is another model we look at to predict severe weather. Usually CAPE, of about 1000 is sufficient to support strong to severe storms, and even still, we are seeing some areas that could exceed 2000 over Texas, 